Hi, it's Joe from the professional services team at firewalls.com. And in this video, we are going to go over creating service objects. My lab consists of a TC270. Now services are used to control network traffic by creating rules uh, for allowing or blocking to the network. Let's navigate to object, match object, and here you'll find the sonic wall has organized objects by category. We're going to select services. As you can see here, your sonic wall firewall has default services and custom services, both built based on three parameters, name, protocol type, and port range. Another feature to note is the ability to group your service objects. This will come in handy when creating policies with multiple service objects. At the end of the video, you'll understand how grouping works. I have here a list of the services that I need. These were given to me by my VoIP provider. Now, please note, this is just an example. You might need other ports and different services for any other configuration, all depending on what VoIP provider you're using. Let's go ahead and click on add. First field is the name. This one's going to be called Cloud Voice RTP Audio Range. The protocol for this one is UDP. Now we can enter the range. And hit save. Let's verify that it's there. We named it cloud. Excellent, so that one is in. Let's move on to the second one. This one I'm going to name cloud boys zip port range. This one's also UDP. And the ports for this one are 56, 78, and 68 through 6899. Hit save. And let's do one more. This one I'm going to name Cloud Boys Soft Phone. Configuration server. Also, no, actually, this one is TCP. And they would they need 1443 open. Now, this one is just one port. It's not a range. You just have to type in the same number. TCP 1443. Save. Okay, you have now defined these ports. We are going to use them on the same access rule in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to service groups. I'm going to add a service group. And I'm going to name this Cloud Voice Services. Now I have to find the newly created um, service objects. And they should all come up if I type in cloud. If you hit goal while you click, you can select multiple at the same time. So there we go, um, cloud services, cloud voice services. And I selected which three services I want. I'm gonna hit save. And now you have successfully created a service group consisting of three custom service objects that you defined. And let's just verify that it is there. Cloud voice services, it's a custom group and it includes these three um, service objects. And you can always come back and edit these um, there's our pencil, there it is. 
move them around as you need. Okay, right, I'm gonna hit cancel. And there we go, now you have three service objects that you specifically want to open and you've grouped them together in a service group. And now you can apply this service group for an access rule or a firewall rule. All right, how easy was that? Um, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified of our future video releases and come check us out at firewalls.com where you can find our large selection of top rated security brands and learn more about our managed services.